The firebrand former deputy minister of land reform lost his National Assembly seat following a recall by the Swapo party last week. Swarbo's recall was fueled by the daring remarks he made against the party leadership, including that he was not a full member of the party. Anyone President Gengop says Swarboy was not the only Swapo leader asked to apologize for remarks deemed to go against the principles of the party and so that of government's nation-building agenda. Attacking them. Are we really serious? We shouldn't be subjective in this thing. We must be objective as journalists. When Minister Esso made statement, I was in Sakopun. I called him, say, apologize. The minister apologized. He stood up there in front and apologized. No questions. Apologize, he apologized. Governor of Omaheke made a tribal statement. I same like that the governor of the Omsati recorded. But when we were found, I told him apologize. He apologized. He apologized. That's the governor of Omaheke. The former youth leader publicly attacked land reform minister Utoni Nuyoma while raising concerns around the land resettlement program. He was then requested to apologize for the platform used and not necessarily for addressing the land issue. I said, why are you angry? I said, I invited you, and then I was not even clear of the minister to you. We are not asking you to apologize about your views on the land. Swapo's policies are very clear on the land. We are all talking about land. So we are not questioning that. We are questioning you when you are saying you are not working under the minister. And I took out the letter I wrote to him to appoint him. It uses the word under the minister. And you'll assist the minister in the following things. If the minister failed, he failed too. Swartboy has since resigned from Swapo.